A new chapter begins as Kuba Sienkiewicz unveils his latest creation, Ponybog. Kuba Sienkiewicz is back, and he's ready to make waves in the music world once again. He's a familiar face in the Polish music scene, widely recognized for his work with the iconic band Elektrycni Gitari. Their music has left an indelible mark on Polish rock. But now, Sienkiewicz is venturing out on his own, exploring new musical territories and pushing his creative boundaries. Sienkiewicz's new album, Ponybog, Miss God, is a fascinating mix of sounds and stories, blending various genres to create something truly unique. It's a bluesy, jazzy journey that delves deep into themes of Poland, womanhood, and personal experience, offering listeners a rich tapestry of emotions and reflections. This isn't just another album. It's a statement, a bold declaration of Sienkiewicz's artistic vision and his thoughts on contemporary issues. Sienkiewicz is known for his sharp wit and insightful lyrics, and Ponybog is no exception. Each song is a carefully crafted piece of art. The title itself is intriguing, sparking conversation about faith, feminism, and the role of women in society. It's a thought-provoking choice that invites deeper reflection. Sienkiewicz is inviting listeners to think about the world around them and the power of women, encouraging a dialogue that is both timely and necessary. The album is a departure from Electric's Ningitari's sound, but it's still distinctly Sienkiewicz. His signature style and voice shine through in every track. It's honest, thought-provoking, and undeniably catchy. Ponybog is more than just music. It's an experience, a journey through the mind of one of Poland's most talented musicians. Pannybog isn't your typical pop album. It's steeped in the blues with soulful vocals and slide guitar riffs. Sienkiewicz's voice is raw and emotive, perfectly capturing the melancholy of the blues. You can hear influences of American blues legends like John Lee Hooker and Muddy Waters. But it's not just about mimicking the classics. Sienkiewicz takes the blues and makes it his own, infusing it with his unique perspective and experiences. The result is a fresh take on a timeless genre. The blues provide the foundation, but Sienkiewicz doesn't stop there. He builds on that foundation with other genres, creating a rich and layered sound. Sienkiewicz isn't afraid to experiment. He dives into the unknown, exploring uncharted musical territories with a fearless attitude. For Pani Bog, he collaborated with jazz musicians Sebastian Ruczynski and Tomasz Wojciech, both accomplished guitarists. Their expertise and unique styles brought a fresh perspective to the project. Their contributions add a layer of sophistication and complexity to the album. Each note and chord they play is meticulously crafted, adding depth to the overall sound. The interplay between the guitars is a joy to listen to. It's like a conversation between two old friends, each one understanding the other's nuances perfectly. It's clear that these musicians are feeding off each other's energy, creating something truly special. The synergy in the studio was palpable, and it translated beautifully into the music. The jazz elements aren't overpowering, they complement the bluesy core of the album. This delicate balance creates a rich, textured sound that is both engaging and immersive. The result is a sound that's both familiar and surprising. It's a blend of the old and the new, the traditional and the innovative. It's the sound of an artist pushing boundaries and exploring new territory. Sienkiewicz is not content with staying within the lines. He constantly seeks to redefine them. Working with Kuba on Panibog was an incredible experience. His vision and creativity are truly inspiring. We really wanted to bring something new to the table to challenge ourselves and push our musical boundaries, to blend our jazz influences with his bluesy style. The fusion of these genres created something unique and exciting. The energy in the studio was just amazing, and I think that comes through in the music. Every session was filled with creativity and passion, and it shows in the final product. Sienkiewicz's lyrics have always been a highlight of his music. He's a wordsmith, crafting stories and observations that resonate with listeners. Pani Bog is no exception. The album is a lyrical tapestry, weaving together themes of Poland, womanhood, and personal reflection. Sienkiewicz's love for his homeland is evident in songs that touch on Polish history and culture. He doesn't shy away from the complexities of his country, exploring both its beauty and its struggles. But Pani Bog isn't just about Poland. It's about the women who shape it. Sienkiewicz celebrates their strength, resilience, and spirit. The album is also deeply personal. Sienkiewicz reflects on his own life, his experiences, 
and his observations of the world around him. He invites listeners to join him on his journey to see the world through his eyes. Section 5, Kuba Sienkiewicz, A Life in Music. To understand Panibog, it's important to understand the man behind the music. Kuba Sienkiewicz is not just a musician, he is a storyteller, a poet, and a visionary. Kuba Sienkiewicz has been a fixture in the Polish music scene for decades. His influence and contributions have shaped the landscape of Polish music. He's a singer, songwriter, composer, and even a doctor. Balancing his medical career with his musical pursuits, he embodies the spirit of a true Renaissance man. He's a true Renaissance man with a passion for music. His ability to play multiple instruments and engage in various music-related activities showcases his versatility and dedication. Sienkiewicz's musical journey began in his youth. From a young age, he was captivated by the magic of music. He learned to play guitar and started writing songs, drawn to the power of music to express emotions and tell stories. His early compositions were a window into his soul. He formed his first bands and began performing, honing his craft, and developing his unique voice. These early experiences were crucial in shaping his musical identity. His dedication to music was evident from the start. Every performance, every practice session was a step towards mastering his art. He wasn't afraid to experiment, to push boundaries, and to challenge himself creatively. This fearless approach allowed him to innovate and stay relevant in a constantly evolving industry. This drive would lead him to form Elektrizny Gittery, the band that would make him a household name in Poland. With Elektrizny Gittery, he achieved widespread acclaim and left an indelible mark on Polish music history. Section 6, Elektrizny Gittery, a legacy of Polish rock. In the 1990s, Kuba Sienkiewicz and his band, Elektrizny Gittery, burst onto the Polish music scene. Their sound was fresh, energetic, and undeniably catchy. They blended rock, pop, and punk influences, creating a sound that was both familiar and unique. Elektrizny Gittary quickly gained a loyal following. Their concerts were legendary, filled with energy, passion, and a connection with their fans that was palpable. Their songs became anthems for a generation, capturing the spirit of a changing Poland. Sienkiewicz's lyrics, often witty and insightful, resonated with audiences. He wrote about everyday life, about the joys and struggles of being young in Poland. The band's success was a testament to Sienkiewicz's talent and his ability to connect with listeners on a deeper level. Section 7. Beyond the Band, Sienkiewicz's Solo Journey. While Elektrizny Gitari brought Sienkiewicz fame and recognition, he never stopped exploring his own musical path. He continued to write songs, experimenting with different sounds and styles. This exploration led him to release solo albums, showcasing a side of his musical personality that was distinct from the band. His solo work is often more introspective, delving into personal themes and exploring different genres. We hear the blues influences more prominently, as well as elements of jazz and folk. Sienkiewicz's solo albums aren't about chasing commercial success, they're about artistic expression and creative freedom. They're a chance for him to stretch his musical muscles and share a different side of himself with his listeners. Section 8. Nostalgic Echoes. Reimagining the Past. Pannybog isn't just about new beginnings. It also revisits Sienkiewicz's past. The album features reimagined versions of three songs originally released by Electris Nigatari. These aren't simple re-recordings. They're completely new interpretations, infused with the blues and jazz influences that permeate the album. Hearing these familiar songs in a new light is a treat for longtime fans. It's a reminder of Sienkiewicz's songwriting prowess and his ability to breathe new life into old material. But it's not just about nostalgia. The reimagined tracks also serve as a bridge between Sienkiewicz's past and present, showcasing his evolution as an artist while staying true to his roots. Section 9. The Significance of Pony Bog Pony Bog is more than just a new album. It's a statement from an artist who refuses to be confined by expectations. It's a bold step forward, embracing new sounds and exploring new territory. The album is a testament to Sienkiewicz's growth as a musician. He's not content to rest on his laurels. He's still pushing boundaries, experimenting, and challenging himself creatively. Pony Bog is a reminder